Today we're talking about creating visual impact using interior design's rule of three. So let's get started. Hi everyone, Liz here. Welcome to Balance and Rhythm. The rule of three in interior design is a guideline that says that items arranged in odd number groupings are more interesting, appealing, and natural than items arranged in even number groupings. Three is the minimum number to create a pattern, but items arranged in groupings of five, seven, nine, or even more can work depending on the application. While even numbers create symmetry, odd numbers create interest. An odd number of details captures our interest and invites our gaze to take in the whole composition. Too much symmetry looks forced and unnatural, resulting in a stiff and cold look. Balancing symmetrical elements with a little asymmetry creates a softer look and a more natural feel while still keeping it interesting. So whether you're a minimalist or a maximalist or somewhere in between, let's take a look at some ways to incorporate the rule of three into your space. The rule of three can help you create a space that functions and flows. Think of main furniture groupings in odd numbers, whether it be a large sofa and two similarly scaled chairs, two sofas and a large coffee table, or a chair, side table, lamp arrangement in a corner. Place your main furniture into groupings of three or maybe even five for an interesting yet cohesive look. The rule of three can be really helpful in arranging accessories and take some of the mystery out of how to create natural and interesting arrangements on upholstered pieces, shelves, tables, and other horizontal surfaces. For sofas, consider three pillows instead of two, or if it's a larger sofa, five instead of four. And a bed with four pillows will look more interesting with the addition of a throw pillow. Shelves and tables are challenging to style, but using the rule of three makes it much easier. You can group items of the same type, like books, candles, or vases, or objects of different types. Using items of similar color and material creates cohesion, and varying the heights, shapes, or sizes creates the visual interest. Gallery walls are a great way to implement the rule of three from three large pieces in a row, all the way to a full wall of art. Play with these arrangements using an odd number of pieces. You can keep it cohesive by hanging similar art or using frames that are similar in material or color to bring everything together. Lighting also looks great in groups of odd numbers. A series of three pendant lights over a table or kitchen island looks balanced and aesthetically pleasing. Or you could go with a cluster of pendants and an odd number at varying heights to add visual interest in an entryway, dining room, or living space. The rule of three can also be applied to color selection and bumps into another design guideline, the 60-30-10 rule, which states that 60% of the room should be in one or two main colors for your largest surfaces, like floors, walls, and large furniture pieces. 30% of the room should be in one to three subtle and non-contrasting colors that accentuate the main colors. This can be in the form of drapery rugs and small furniture pieces and 10% of the room should be in contrasting accent colors in the form of lighting, artwork, pillows, and other accessories. So you're essentially breaking up your color groupings into three and creating cohesion with the 60-30 portion and interest with the 10% portion of your color selections. The rule of three can be used to create visual interest in all the ways we discussed and in additional ways like through texture, pattern, and architectural features. And while it's useful to contemplate design choices within this context, use your best judgment and don't force it if it doesn't work for you. Always take into account the scale of your room and furnishings and make adjustments according to your needs. For more interior design ideas, check out these videos. And if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to be the first to know about new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.